1928, the Surrealists' favorite photographer was a machine, the photo booth, an American invention recently arrived in Paris. André Breton, Paul Éluard, and Louis Aragon soon discovered a creative way to use the photo booth, which made self-portraiture available to all. In these passport photos, surrealism has two faces, one totally anti-conformist, the other ultra-serious, like these of André Breton, the movement's leader. The same blend of seriousness and humor marked their approach to photography. On the one hand, they were obsessed by the disciplined and cold objectivity of the machine, the automatic nature of which reflected their own experiments in writing, the writer being, according to André Breton, a humble recording machine with no more talent than a mirror or a door. On the other hand, they mocked photography's pretentious claim to faithfully depict what is real and enjoyed the ease with which they could misappropriate it. Man Ray Kiki de Montparnasse metamorphosed into a cello with a touch of Indian ink. Nothing proves the truth of surrealism like photography does, wrote Salvador Dali in 1925. It's the surest vehicle for conveying poetry, the best instrument for perceiving the relationship between reality and surrealism. As a raw document, a photograph was able to capture the unintentional poetry of painted funfair scenery. An unplanned meeting, captured by Man Ray, or the Chaboté, or Puss in Boots, and the Marquis de Sade on a street corner in Antibes, or an oddly dressed pharmacy window. The photographer of these pictures, the Czech Jindrik Sturski, photographs these quaint settings, refusing all artistic manipulation and intent, in order to capture as simply as possible the surrealism hidden in reality itself. The only sign of his presence is the barely visible reflection of his body, seemingly struggling to support the bearded dummy's head. Another storefront, Optical Parable, by Mexican photographer Manuel Alvarez Bravo, 1931. Nothing seems to escape the view of the artificial eyes that fill and define the framing. Nothing except for this. The photo was printed back to front. The photo of the storefront is merely a reflection. That's the meaning behind the parable. Photography is not the true image of reality it claims to be. The world it shows is a trick. <laughs> 